What is up all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers? It's your host Ghost here, and today we are going to be looking at the uh, what I like to call the uh, Borderlands blowout, because uh, they had the big gameplay reveal today. Uh, first we're going to be taking a look at the uh, boss fight gameplay from the Gigamind, I believe that was the name of the boss fight. Um, then we're going to be taking a, taking a look at the uh, customization on Sanctuary, and then we're also going to be looking at the gameplay trailer 2 that they released with the uh, gameplay reveal. But first we're going to start off with this boss battle gameplay. Uh, it's about 13, 14 minutes, so it's a little longer. So let's hop right in. Here we go. Alright, starting in now. Nice shot of them running up the stairs. The graphics look amazing. Look really good for Borderlands. Um, it feels very much like Borderlands 1 or 2 or the pre-sequel. So I'm glad Zero is going to be a part of the story here. Man, the guns, the guns seem very unique, very cool. Nice. What I'm seeing so far, I'm liking a lot. It definitely seems like the definitive uh, <clears throat> version of the gameplay loop that Borderlands has created. So that looks like a shotgun. That looks like some sort of uh, machine gun with fire effect. And this is also some sort of uh, assault rifle. New enemies, uh, I haven't seen these in Borderlands 1 or 2 or the pre-sequel before, so that's also cool. New enemy types. Definitely looking forward to it. Alrighty, so Zero is apparently with you on this mission. And I could see that being a yeah, recurring loop with the old Vault Hunters kind of going on missions with you and helping you out. There's a lot happening for me to take in here and all this. <clears throat> if you look at the map, it's all there and present, but uh, when you actually explore it, it turns blue, so you know what spot you've been in and what spot you haven't. I like that. Alright, once again, we got new enemy types. These dudes look bigger, uh, more harder to take down. Harder. I don't know if that's a word, but... Well, it is a word, but... And that use, I'm not sure more difficult to uh, take down. But it looks like a few grenades, you can take care of them pretty quickly here. Oh, that's why they're uh, badass enemy types. So they still have the shock barrels and all that stuff from uh, Borderlands 1 and 2 sitting around. So you kind of got to keep your eye out in your environment when uh, you're getting shot at by the enemies. Or else you will kill yourself on accident. I've done it before in Borderlands many times. But it looks good. It looks very, very good. Everything that makes Borderlands Borderlands is here and plus more. So I'm happy. It looks good. I'm, I'm just ready for it to come out and play in it. Uh, it seems grand. It's going to be a huge, grandiose adventure. And the upgrades they have added to it have added a whole lot to the game. So I'm assuming they're playing as the uh, new Siren there, because I saw a little power. Assault Troopers, that's a new enemy type. Yeah, all these are new enemy types. So I'm assuming the different planets you go to um, will have unique enemy types to that planet. Uh, which is cool, that's perfect. Keeps it fresh, keeps it interesting. You need to get some ammo, get your breath a little bit. Zero, what are you doing down there? Nothing? Just chilling. Still feels very much Borderlands. Lots of enemies, lots of shooting, uh, loot and shoot, loot, shoot, kill, collect, and move on. But I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. 
They still got the elemental damage, uh, different elemental types. Fire, electricity, slag, acid. Yeah, that seems like the uh, siren. I believe it is the siren they're playing as. That would explain the uh, the arm movements and the burst that comes out. But man, that guy's not going down easily. I'm getting so sucked into this giant dude, just chasing him around. Just finish the battle. There we go, got him. Nice. Very nice. The environments look so good. It's not that bland outside environment that we got in Borderlands 2, uh, 1 and 2 a lot. These seem more industrialized, more uh, futuristic. And I like the new crates too, it's not the same crates throughout the whole game. Got a sniper rifle there. And the Malwan weapon boxes look so good. The fl they're flat and they lift up. Looks very cool. Unique. Different. Alright, so he's debating on switching this weapon out here. Oh, okay. That's an explosive uh, round. Looks like... Six shots, but it takes two shots every time you fire. Or eight shots, I mean. Two, four, six, eight. So you only get four shots in that gun before you have to actually reload. Another sniper rifle. There are still level requirements on the weapons, as you can tell in the corner there. Uh, the right corner. But yeah, it looks very good. Very much what I wanted Borderlands 3 to look like. It looks like it's happening. And I also see the option for a lot more weapons than in Borderlands 1 and 2. Because then you'd, you would find weapon crates every now and then. This seems like you're finding weapon crates all the time. Even the, even your friendly is giving you weapons for no reason. Oh wow, Zero's gonna use up the sword. Cool. So is Borderlands 3 going to be a tale about all the uh, weapons manufacturers kind of going at it and seeing who's on top now that Jack's gone? Could be. And we're kind of just dealing with all the weapons manufacturers as they're raising to that power before they get to that Jack level. Maybe that's what the story is about. And maybe the sirens play into it in some form. That was a weird palm strike she did there. That's strange. Is that the melee attack? Okay, so vehicle spawn point. Now we get to see these wheels, these uh, wheel vehicles. They, li they look really, in really, really interesting. So he's gonna cut through the uh, shield here with this sword. Wow, dude, that that w that car looks so cool. Reminds me of something I'd see in Jurassic Park, but deadly, and it makes it so much better. So we break Gigamind into tiny bits and then sift through them for info. And the cars seem like they feel uh, they drive very similar to how they did in Borderlands One and Two, uh, which worked for me. I had no problems with the vehicles. Uh, the maps were made for the vehicles to work, and it seems like they're doing the same thing for this. Man, that wheel, though, looks so cool. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Axel from uh, Twisted Metal, so that's why I kind of like it. Little tiny robots that'll hop out and shoot little laser beams at you. 
Remind me of Skaggs a little bit. But this is what I'm talking about. No, there's no uh, environments that you've seen in the Borderlands franchise like this in this industrial area. So it's going to be cool to see more environments like that to uh, definitely expand the lore of the Borderlands franchise. Oh, there's the boxes. I was wondering if we'd see boxes. <coughs> Alright, Gigamine. This is the boss t uh, the boss battle that we we're here to watch. So, finally getting to the boss here. Alright. Well, you should be helping, not watching Zero. If you are on the same team, apparently. So we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. There's a re respawn station, so you know, uh, you die, you're gonna be showing up right back here. That's a good thing. And Borderlands has always been really good about their respawns and their setments of those. So I wasn't too surprised not to. Oh wow, that's an interesting boss. He's a brain in a jar. Gigamind. Okay. Min maxed intelligence. Oh wow, that is definitely cool. He's got a little army of drones he controls. I knew the boss battles would be unique, but I wasn't picturing this. This is out of the realm of what I thought it would be. But it's awesome. Very cool. Borderlands always does a great job with their boss battles, the characterization of them. So you gotta dodge them, the uh, drones there. Take his shield down. He's a level 10. Player sitting at level 10 as well. Of course there's some uh, cannon fodder. Okay, so the drones will heal the uh, the other enemies on the map. Thankfully, Gigamine's shield doesn't look like it recharges that fast. So that's a good thing. But he's a cool little boss. So you can shoot the drones out of the air before they touch you. Alright, just leveled up. Very cool. And there goes Gigamind. So not a hard boss, but still a, a cool uh, example of a boss battle in Borderlands. So of course, you beat a boss, they're going to drop some good loot. Like some prism crystals you can use to upgrade your inventory. Sure, uh, Possibly still on the black market. I'm not too sure how that's going to work in this one. But yeah. It's squishy. It's squishy. Yeah, he just picked up a brain. Yeah, so that is the new siren they're playing as. See a little bit of her skill tree here. All right, guys. But I think that's gonna be it for the gameplay. Let's talk about it. So that was the <clears throat> Giga Mind boss battle. Um, still has the same humor and the same uh, visual gameplay style. The same loop. <clears throat> excuse me, as Borderlands 1 and 2 in the pre-sequel. Um, the only thing that's improved is how smooth it plays, um, how well it looks, and um, just little little basic improvements that the series always needed is finally getting it in the third game. Um, and I'm excited. It looks great. I'm, ex I'm going to pre-order it. I'm going to be buying it for sure. And I'm going to be doing a playthrough of it on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoy. Leave your comments down below if you're looking forward to uh, Borderlands 2, or 3 I mean. And of course, there's going to be tons more coverage. As I said, we have a lot of videos this week about Borderlands 3. Uh, so stay tuned for those. Hit the notification bell so you're always up to date when those videos drop. Like, subscribe, and share. And leave a comment down below, guys. And until next time, I've been your host, Ghost.